Now, AMC Entertainment just saw Adam Aaron drop some huge news when it comes to AMC stock, and now APE. Yes, you heard that right. Ape stock is going to be next on the list. Now, guys, this is going to be a dividend that takes place, or basically a spinoff that takes place, and it's going to be a tradable security on the New York Stock Exchange. This is going to be huge news, and it could be a very good thing, or it could be an extremely bad thing. And I want to discuss both the pros and the cons, and you guys can decide for yourselves whether or not you think it's a good idea, or whether or not you think Adam Aaron is just going right around our backs, and he's going to issue more equity without our approval. So let's talk about it, and if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting six free stocks, $1 crypto trade. You're going to get $5 in free crypto. And uh, let's let's just jump right into this. We've got a lot to unpack. Now, we know that Adam Aaron said that we are going to be pouncing on the shorts, and pounce he did. I don't know if he's pouncing on shorts yet or if he's pouncing on us yet. Now, let's talk about what this means because a lot of people were, you know, you're listening and you don't really know what's going on here, and that's okay. But Adam Aaron, we, we need to look at what we know first. And Adam Aaron referred to this AMC Preferred Equity, or APE, as a currency. It's not a stock. He's referring to it as a currency. And currencies are implied to be spent. Currencies are intended to be spent. What Adam Aaron and AMC Entertainment just did for AMC stock is they, they, they basically set themselves up with a Federal Reserve. They've got their own bank now that they can print as much money that they want whenever they want to print it. So what do we know leading up to this? For every share of AMC stock, and let's start with the good news and we'll jump to the bad news. For every share of AMC stock you own, you will be receiving a dividend, yes, you heard that right, a dividend of one share of AMC Preferred Equity or APE. Now, this is going to be a completely separate stock. It's going to be tradable on the New York Stock Exchange, and you will be receiving this if you are a shareholder as of, I believe, the close on August 22nd. Now, from there, what are the shares going to be trading at? What, what are the sh what's going to happen to the shares? All of that. Adam Aaron clearly stated that we should expect AMC Entertainment to drop in value. AMC shares will drop in value because we are going to be receiving APE. Now, APE is special because it can be converted into one share of AMC if and only if AMC investors vote. Now, AMC investors will also include APE investors. So if you own a share of APE, if you own a share of AMC, you have the same voting rights in AMC Entertainment. So if AMC and APE investors go out there and approve additional authorized shares, then and only then can you convert shares of APE into shares of AMC. Now, Adam Aaron made it very clear, very clear that this initial, keyword, initial distribution of APE equity is not going to dilute AMC Entertainment holders because it is going to be a one-for-one. One. And you and I, the shareholders of AMC Entertainment, are going to be the only ones that receive them. However, it is not the only distribution of APE that we will be seeing. And it is not going to be directly to shareholders every time it is distributed. What they've done here, and let's just let's stay focused on the good really quick before I get heated. Since it's going to be a one-for-one -one distribution, if you do not have APE, in your portfolio following this distribution, there's a very high likelihood that you have a fake share, a naked short. And, and this is the share count that Adam Aaron is doing. He's making it very clear that they are only giving out shares 
to those 500 and whatever million outstanding shares that they have out there. Now, this is what I don't want to see. I don't want to see people give up because there's there's no conclusion of naked shorts after this. I don't want to see brokers across the globe saying, mm, you know what, AMC didn't give us. AMC didn't give us those dividends. So it's on them. It's on them for not giving us shares of Ape to distribute to our shareholders on our platform. It could lead to a mess when it comes to whether or not we have naked shorts out there. And I don't know if it's going to expose any. But if it does, yes, we could absolutely see a short squeeze. We could absolutely see a massive increase in price. Yes, we could absolutely have the confirmation that a lot of people have been looking for for the entirety of the last year and a half, and it could be a great thing. If it's not, what do we end up with? We end up with Adam Aaron at his disposal, according to the Wall Street Journal, with an additional 4.5 billion shares of APE that can be issued without your approval at any time that the board of directors decides to issue these shares. Guys, they carry the same voting rights as a share of common stock, but they do not need the approval of shareholders. Back in 2013, AMC was given authorization to, to authorize and issue as many shares of preferred stock as they wanted to, and the only approval they needed was the board of directors. So what is happening here? Adam Aaron and AMC Entertainment are referring to APE as a currency. That means that when they need money, instead of going out and raising money, instead of going out and, and bringing in more revenue, instead of going out and cutting costs in order to have a, a more productive bottom line, they're going to issue additional shares of APE. What will APE be trading at? You know, we would assume that a one-for-one -one distribution or dividend, AMC is going to be split in half on August 22nd. And APE will be trading at, let's just say, $9. AMC will be trading at $9. And the initial distribution doesn't result in any capital being raised for AMC Entertainment. However, if AMC and APE continue to trade at the same price point, at any given time, Adam Aaron can go and issue an additional 1 million shares. Hey, he wants to raise $9 million? Let's issue a million shares. Hey, if Adam Aaron wants to issue and, and receive or, or raise another billion dollars, he can go out there and he can issue, I don't know, let's say a billion shares. If it's, if it's dropping in price, he can issue a billion shares and raise $9 billion if he wants. Now, this is not to say that Adam Aaron is going to be irresponsible and go out and issue 5 billion shares of APE anytime that he wants to, but he can. And when he needs money, now remember, AMC Entertainment is in massive debt, and he's made it very clear that they want to pay this debt down. And if they issue these shares, what we have are APE holders, not necessarily AMC holders, but APE holders being drastically diluted at the whim of AMC's board of directors. Now, AMC holders will absolutely have their voting rights diluted, basically down to nothing. The Wall Street Journal has reported that Adam Aaron and the board of directors at AMC Entertainment can issue up to basically 5 billion shares of APE without the authorization, without the approval, without the vote of shareholders anytime they want. This is a currency. It will be spent like a currency. And AMC Entertainment and Adam Aaron can go out there anytime they want and do so. So what does this look like? If they issue these shares and APE is trading, let's say they issue so many that APE is starting to, to trade at a dollar per share. Our voting rights, there's 500 million shares of AMC outstanding. If there's, if there's 5 billion shares of APE that end up outstanding, we only own 10% of the company. We only own 10% of the voting rights. And at that point in time, the guys that own APE can go out vote to approve any amount of authorized shares that they want, convert all of those shares over into AMC, and what happened? Where did we end up?
Now, I know that this is a worst case scenario, but what we've seen is Adam Aaron refer to it as a currency, not as anything other than a means for Adam Aaron and AMC Entertainment to pay their bills. I don't like it. You know, and that's not to say that it's not going to turn out to be a great thing. It's not to say that AMC Entertainment is not going to thrive in the future. But it is to say that, you know, having this at your disposal, being able to write blank checks whenever you want to write them, and it's you and I, it's our voting rights that end up suffering because of it. I mean, when does it end, man? If it's not the U.S. government doing it to you, it's the companies that you saved doing it to you like uh, it's mind-boggling but it is absolutely a workaround they know that they're not going to get the vote from us so what do they do they issue shares that they don't need our approval and then they're going to issue so many of those shares that if we don't buy those up which think about it you out you you and i are their bank account if we buy the shares of ape if we're the ones that continue footing the bill, imagine another 5 billion shares that we have to buy. And every dollar we pour in just goes straight into the pocket of AMC Entertainment and the board of directors that work there. Guys, to me, it sounds, it sounds pretty daunting. It sounds pretty dark. It sounds pretty rough. But uh, hey, guys. I guess we got to look on the bright side and hopefully it, it, it exposes some naked shorts, right? Otherwise, you and I just became the bank of the apes. Congratulations. Our pockets are endless. I want to know what you think down in the comments below though. Let me know your thoughts on this new ape currency and the fact that AMC Entertainment will have basically unlimited money at their disposal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. You got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. You got a link for the Discord. Go join it. It's free. Getting six free stocks on Weeble. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.